Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Australian US dollar as the RBA have recently announced a rate hike. So we can see here last night the RBA announced rates and they moved from 2.85% to 3.1%. Um, so that's another 25 basis points hike out of uh, Australia. So looking to see how that has affected the market and what could we see next from a technical outlook. Now, didn't really see much effect from the news. Didn't really see too much of a downside movement or upside movement from the RBA, RBA announcement. But what we do see is the fact that price is at a key area of resistance. Now, price has traded through a area of resistance already, which was the uh, trend line area through here, which you can see I've marked from this high back in March uh, and this high back through, uh, I think that's August through there. And um, I was looking to see if price would rebound from that area. Now we did get a sort of bearish close off of that, but we didn't see the follow through on lower time frames to the downside. And now we've come up a little bit higher, we've come and retested some more horizontal uh, resistance around the zero spot 6750. So basically once we form that high in here, price has pretty much moved sideways. We haven't seen too much of anything from the Australian US dollar. Now, the dollar index is at support and despite the fact that the Australian dollar does not feature in the dollar index, if the dollar index is at support and does find support, we could still see the dollar strengthen which could push Aussie US dollar prices to the downside even if it only needs to last uh, for a short period of time. Now what I quite like is if we go to the daily time frame, you can see here the consolidation okay at the resistance zone through here so it's like a little sort of flag pattern um or a little sort of bullish channel at the zero spot 6750 handle which could offer the opportunity to either see price trade back within the channel or trade through the channel lows and then see price come back to another area of support which could be the zero spot 6550 handle which ironically is the neckline of a inverse head and shoulders pattern. So we've got kind of two patterns setting up here, inverse head and shoulders, this bullish channel through there. But really speaking, what I'm watching at the moment is how price reacts down here from a four hour perspective, because what we had originally when we first started to see that sort of downside from the, the Australian dollar from the original rejection, we had this consolidation double top price came down, retested double top neckline, and we traded lower. We just didn't see the follow through towards the zero spot 6550 handle. Since then, price made a new higher high, higher low, higher high. But notice the similarity here where we have price making a double top. We've then broken through to the downside, and price is now retesting the neckline area. So what I really want to see to confirm that the market is going to start trading lower again is a new lower low form because we would have then traded through channel support. We'd be heading back into channel resistance and that could lead us to some further downside in the short term coming back towards the zero spot 65.50 handle. So that's what I'm looking for here really on the Australian dollar at the moment. Are we going to find support here or is price going to break to the downside? I think if you're looking for short ideas, you want to be like waiting for price to trade through this low. If you're waiting for long ideas, you're probably going to wait for price to trade actually above the zero spot 6750 handle um, to see if it trades back within the channel uh, that you can see that's formed here on this daily and four hour time frame. So keep an eye on your Aussie US dollar. I'm favoring more to the downside just because of how that weekly looks to be shaping up. I don't expect maybe a move all the way back down to the zero spot 62 handle. If I just bring this in for a second, we could argue that the fact that price might even try and just trade back towards this area here, which is that inverse head and shoulders neckline from the daily time frame. So that's what I'm kind of looking for there on Aussie US dollar, seeing if price will trade through the channel, see if we can trade a little bit lower in the short term, and then maybe in the bigger picture we'll get a rally um, towards the zero spot 7550. So hopefully that made sense. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more Forex trading content. And I'll catch you in the next video.